Not expecting this. Not at all. What's going on everybody? I'm the Modern Film Critic, and I took a long trip to Nashville this weekend, as well as last weekend. Last weekend I saw Dallas Buyers Club. This weekend I went to see Blue is the Warmest Color. I'm gonna break out the paper because there are some names that I cannot pronounce, so I'm gonna do the best I can. Directed by Abdelatif Kashish, French director obviously, uh, starring Leia Sado and Adele Exarchopoulos. I didn't do too bad, I didn't do too bad. Uh, Leia Sado plays a woman named Emma in the film who has the blue hair and she is, you know, um, gay. She is a, uh, she is homosexual. And we follow our character, Adele Exarchopoulos, who actually plays her character as the name Adele. And she is our main focus. Right now, when the film starts off, she is straight, 110% straight. But one day, she realizes, you know what? I'm not feeling this anymore. And then she decides, I think, I, I, I'm curious. She gets into that stage, you know, I'm... I, I, I want to test this out. She starts looking at some other girls and she's like, I'm not sure if I'm into this or not. She's she, It's all about finding her sexuality. That's pretty much our plot right there is her trying to figure out what I want. And this movie is a three hour long French film and it is definitely not for everybody for many, many reasons. But I loved this movie. I adore Blue is the Warmest Color. This film is so wonderfully crafted. It is so... It is intriguing. If you are against homosexuality in film and you and you appreciate the art of cinema and you go into this film, try to put that aside. I'm not going to give you a big spill on what I believe and what I don't believe. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to give you this review. But I'm saying if you if you're if you're okay with gay and and homosexuality, it's fine. Watch it. But if you're not and you love cinema and you really want to see it, just try and put that part of you aside and go into this film fresh and and watch it as a film and nothing more than that because it is a fantastic movie and also if you're not into three hour long movies then don't watch it because yeah it's three hours long and it is long but what I love so much about this film is it did not feel three hours long at all I looked at the clock and it was almost time to wrap things up and I was like this is the fastest three hours I've ever been in I've ever seen in a film and it is a beautifully shot film when it comes to cinematography when it comes to acting and camera work this is a well crafted movie and it is also great in substance because this is a deep deep movie you can talk about this for days and days and get deeper and deeper inside of this you know this this story these french act actresses leia sado and adele exarchopoulos are brilliant, especially Adele Exarchopoulos. She plays Adele in the film. She plays, you know, the curious one, and she does a great, great job. And the the, the film it feels so real and it feels so natural because these actresses, they've, they, they, I want to see them more in more things because they blew me away. They won't get nominated for Oscars. I know that it's a French film. It's three hours long and it's sixty seventeen things like that. But they, it is well deserved in the acting department because they gave they give haunting performances and it was and it was so ravishing to watch these actresses just act because you feel the emotions they feel when 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 someone's sad you feel sad there's a moment there's a 20 minute long argument scene that had my heart like pounding and my stomach was hurting and I just felt nervous the whole time it was so hard to watch some scenes in, in, in this film are so, are so hard to watch but it adds to the level of you know it, uh, not necessarily entertainment but like enjoyability like I didn't feel like I was watching a movie not one second did I feel like I was watching a film I was looking through a window at these people's lives because it feels so natural, it feels so real. That's why it was so hard to watch at some points because sometimes it's hard to watch, you know, these two argue and she's, and Adele is so conflicted with what to do, should I, what do I, what do I need to do? I, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling, you know, being straight. I'm, I don't feel I'm like being with guys. I don't know. I just feel empty. So she, she is, you know, trying and, and, and experimenting and it's a very I wouldn't say fun, I don't know why I decided to say fun, it is a very intriguing watch because of what the things that she goes through and all the trials and the tribulations that she goes through. Fun fact, there was actually 800 minutes shot of this film and they cut it down to 3 hours. I don't think a 13 hour movie would do well 
in the box office. No, this is this is this is a long sit, but like I said, it flies by just like that. 800 minutes of of of, of shots. That's a lot, and you can tell because there are some scenes that just linger for a long time. For instance, there's a scene where she's walking around an art gallery, where Adele is walking around an art gallery for like five or six minutes, and there's a there's a five or six minute clip of her just walking and looking at paintings, and it's, it's beautifully crafted. There is a purpose to everything in this film. It doesn't feel useless at all. Every minute of this film is very important, and not once was I like, can we wrap this up? Can we please, you know, get on? It is it is a great romance movie if, if, if you're against a homosexuality or for it. If you're going to just leave it at the door, don't think about it. Go into this movie fresh and, you know, leave your bias out of it, whether you're, you know, against homosexuality or not, and go into this film fresh. It is one of the best pieces of cinema I've seen all year. It, it is it is up there. I'm, I'm thinking it's either one or two for my favorite. I think it, it is my favorite film of the year so far. I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but it is so intriguing. It is so, you're, you're invested in it. You are, you know, you, you feel these characters' emotions. It's one of those movies that you just have to see in order to fully, you know, uh, embrace everything in this movie. Because there's a lot to take in. And I love every second. I love every two hours and 59 minutes of this film. Sure, it's long, but Blue is the Warmest Color is a movie that you just have to see if you appreciate cinema, if you appreciate art, if you appreciate just great performances by these two great actresses. You need to see this movie. Like I said, if you're into like, you know, the normal, like The Hunger Games, if you're into films like that, you're not really into art house films, and you're not really into movies like this, and you probably will not enjoy it. Uh, I know uh, an elderly couple walked out of it. Uh, I saw that, and that was, that was interesting. I mean, I, if you're not, if you're not really, if you're not fully aware of what you're about to watch, and, and, and you're sort of against this type of thing, and it's not really your thing, don't watch it. So I'm telling you right now, if you are in, if you appreciate cinema, if you appreciate art house, art house films, and you love movies like this, go check out Blue is the Warmest Color, because it is a great film. Uh, it, it shows the trials and tribulations of Adele and um, Emma's relationship, you know, the falling out of it, and, and you know, the high, the high point of it, and the low point of it, the arguments, you know, the... the it is a great romance movie. If you're into romance movies, this is one to check out. If it is near you, go check it out. I know it's not near a lot of people. It's not opening in a lot of theaters because it is three hours long. It is in T17. So, I, I, I really highly suggest it if you see it. Just go in unbiased if, if you're against that type of thing. And, and just, like I said, if you appreciate cinema, just enjoy what is unfolding in front of your eyes. Because it is, seriously, a, a, a really... A really intriguing film, and uh, I, I know I don't do this often, but I'm going five out of five for Blue's Warmest Color. I thought about it. I listened to some of the uh, some of the soundtrack of it. I I, 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 I sort of let it sink in, and I, I thought about it more. And it's it's a movie that you really need to watch. That I really need to watch again and take it in a little bit more. I still need to think about it. I'm still pondering over it and things like that. But it it is a, a remarkable piece of film, and it. it and I can see why it, it won the Palm Door at the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, I would like to see what was, you know, with it, you know, like what films were sort of neck and neck with it. But this, it's going to be hard to beat this at the Cannes Film Festival. And I, and I completely see what, what, every, what all the critics saw in this because it is a beautiful piece of art. So definitely check out Blue's Warmest Color. Five out of five. So what are your thoughts on Blue's Warmest Color? Have you seen it? And if you haven't seen it, are you excited for it? Are you even going to bother? Is this your type of film or... Or not. What is your favorite romance movie? Let me know in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching. I'm the Modern Film Critic.